we are in Las Vegas. We're driving to the Valley of Fire. But I should probably catch you up on a few things that have happened in the last few days. Mainly, we got married. We eloped. We didn't tell anyone. Surprise. Yesterday we were exploring some of the city and I'll insert footage of that here. Alright, we're having lunch. We're at Nacho Daddy and we got the vegan loaded nachos. You can eat it now. We're just trying to find a spot to call out Ugo right now. Okay, we're here. The Pinball Hall of Fame. Hint, hold on, let me zoom out. Pinball. Here's Keith for scale to see how big this damn sign is. Oh my god, it's so hot. So this is a collection of pinball machines and is an attempt to house the world's largest collection of pinball machines and they range from the 50s to about the 90s I think. Also this car's license plate is Xpin. Keith switched to his glasses so he can concentrate. I'm ready. Alright so apparently the machines from the 50s ish are 25 cents each and then after that they're 50 cents each which is pretty good. Let's go change our money. Wait, are we really going to take $20 worth of... That's all I have. Okay, I guess we're spending 20 bucks here. This place is massive. There's so many things. Ooh, a Hello Kitty machine. Look at some of these. They're so retro and cool. Ooh, a baseball one. <gasps> That actually looks really cool. Oh, there's another one. Wait, are they the same? Oh no, they're different. But they've got similar art styles. And these are actually only 25 cents. Best deal on the strip. Okay, we're doing our first one. The Simpsons Pinball Party. You're gonna get one ball. got this. You just hit the ball. Hit the ball. Good hit. Oh. I think you're done. Five runs. <laughs> Good job. So many machines to choose from. Oh, it's a pirate ship one. Look how cool the art is. Um, Buccaneer or ships ahoy. Buccaneer. Two player game. Might be two players. Oh. Don't you get to swing it again? Oh. <laughs> Out. A double. Ah, oh, three strikes, you're out. 
Okay, it's Keith's turn. If you look at the top there, the players move. Oh. Out. A double. A single. Oh, wait. It didn't register it. Out. Two outs. What was that, a single? Yeah. Aww. I'm getting a Three run. Outs. <laughs> He's going again. I got two runs at least. That's two more than Keith. I press the stop button. Then I think you press the button to shoot the ball. Oh, you pulled the thing. Nothing there. So you should have one credit. Dollar. Is the coins in the thing? No. Just credit zero. Oh my dollar. Alright, the kind man picks it up for us. Sally was gonna be very sad she couldn't play a Mandalorian game. It's the only one she wanted to play. She's not very good at pinball though. Whoops. <laughs> Not very good at pinball. <laughs> oh, I just missed the multi ball. Black Knight. All, All saved. saved. Oh, oh. Look how cool that is. I get it in there. Oh, he does that. Oh my god, you guys, I love this game. Me and my sister used to play together at time zone and we'd each take like three or four three, two or three crocodiles each. It was I wanna, fun. I wanna try this. What is this? I don't know. I don't know how it works. 1938. 1938. Oh it's so funky. Whoop. Okay. Was that it? Was that it? Well, that was a quick, quick way to spend our money. <laughs> oh, there's something in there. <laughs> I won that. We all saw that. I won it. <laughs> I don't know if I won it. Yeah, I don't know if I want this. <laughs> Let's just put it back. For the next lucky winner. This is hard, this one. It's a two player Mario game.
Keith, go. We're doing mini baseball now. Double. Home run. run. Replay. Hey, we got a free replay. Oh no. Was that it? Maybe you don't get a replay. You said you do. Doesn't matter. Oh. Well, we ended up on 50 runs. That's pretty good. That was fun. I like this one. Got a high score. Number four, Sal. Oh my god, so funny. So we're out of the Pinball Museum now. Where can we do that here while there's like a truck over there and we're beep, 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 beep. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll come back. Okay, take two. So we're out of the Pinball Museum now. We got this cool sign behind me. Um, what'd you think of it? It was pretty fun. A bit disappointing that there's a few machines that weren't working, like at least half of them weren't working. Yeah. And, but apart from that, the ones that were working were really cool. And there was a big collection. I like the really vintage ones. They and were cool. there for like, what, an hour and, an hour and a half? half maybe yeah. spent $10. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's so too, good. It's not too bad. Good cheap entertainment here. Especially for Vegas. Yeah, Vegas has been really expensive. Anyways, right now we are walking down towards some of the casinos. Like there's Mandalay Bay. And ultimately we're trying to make our way over to Excalibur because we are seeing a show there tonight. If you ever come to Vegas, you should just be aware that one block is not just one block. It's like half a mile. Buildings, the properties are huge. Okay, no, you can't see, but yeah, we're like two hotels away from where we need to go, and it's about a 25 30 minute walk. Okay, we're at the front entrance to the Mandalay Bay, and over there is the Luxor, which we're gonna go into. It's kind of sad that they've covered it in advertising now. When Keith and I were here like five years ago, the first time. It didn't have that, so that was nice. Hey, this crossing has a sound. That's nice. A lot of them don't. I like how the handles for the doors are the pyramids. That's cool. Oh, it smells nice in here. And the doors are really heavy in America. Here we are. It's really cool how the inside is like the inverse of the pyramid. Okay, we're in Excalibur. That's what we're here to see. But we can't take any photos, so we'll see you after the show. Ireland get his throat slit and at the end of the show he was there saluting the new king 
who I thought was the new king because I thought the original king died. I swear I saw him die and he told his son to continue on his legacy or something like that. Yeah. Then at the end, he is now knighting him or something. Yeah. It's Major kids. plot holes. The kids show. Major plot holes. Ruined it for me. But now we're on our way to the Neon Museum because we've got a guided tour tonight. Is that before? We stopped along this walkway between Excalibur and New York, New York. It's a bit blown out, but there's the New York, New York sign. Yeah, yeah we're just in the Excalibur like decorative bit, decorated bit. There it is. This is the inside of a Vegas casino. Here we are. Oh, we're just waiting now. I don't know if we can film inside, so if we can't then I'll talk to you later and if we can you'll see the stuff now Probably could do it without, but at night you have to do it with the tools. I don't think I learned anything because I wasn't listening. No, he was being a bad student. I can't repeat any of the information she said. Though. I don't remember. So it you don't remember it? I'm taking photos. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna end the vlog here because we're just going back to the hotel now. So see you tomorrow. Bye. And today we, yeah, we're heading to the Valley of Fire. We're renting a car, and Keith's driving for the first, no, second time on the right hand side. A little stressful at first because the highways were really confusing and we kept getting stuck on exits we weren't supposed to be. But I think we're okay now. This is the view at the moment. It's mostly just empty like desert scapes. I saw a few jets passing by earlier though, that was cool. We're at the first stop, the beehives. I haven't read anything yet, so I'm assuming it's just these rock formations. Here's Keith being an Asian dad, squatting and taking photos. Do you want to learn about beehives? Sure. This is the is an interesting representation of geologic crossbedding. What's geologic crossbedding? It's the the different grooved lines in the rocks, and it. The direction that they're facing is the direction the wind or water was blowing, was moving when the material, different materials were laid down. It's very common in this area. It's also super, super duper hot here. So I've got my Uniqlo UV hoodie. I'm feeling very Asian right now, but it's working really well. This is our rental car, by the way. It's a Jeep, an SUV. We had a smaller car booked originally, but this is all they had. What are these people driving? What is that? Originally, we were going to have our elopement here at the Valley of Fire somewhere. Instead, but instead we ended up choosing to do it at the chapel. I'm so glad we did because it's so hot. I don't know how we would have done it. I think this is our truck. Next to some other rocks. Hold on, there's an information sign. Let me inform you. It says, Natural Arch. Unable to withstand the blasting of strong winds and the slow dissolving away by rains of the cementing materials 
holding its sand grains together, the rock weakened it, allowing an arch to form. Eventually it will grow too large for its support, and nature's forces will complete their work of destruction. Oh, so eventually it's just going to fall. Isn't nature so cool? Like, look at all this. It's amazing. should probably also mention that the Valley of Fire, it's about an hour out of Las Vegas. And it cost us $15 for the state park fee to get in. So we came in from this entrance, the west entrance. Oh my god, that's the air con. <laughs> okay. And we've driven up here to beehives. And then we are just past here, like with the, that rock and arch rock. And now we're going to head towards the visitor centre. Got to keep reminding Keith to drive on the right. I almost took off on the left. Here we are at the visitor centre. We're learning about things. Learning. Getting educated. What did you say? I said I'm smart. You cut me off. Ooh. Ooh. All right, we don't have a ton of time here in the park, so our plan is from the visitor center. We are going to drive up this road. Um, I think up this road. Yeah, up this road. Okay, it continues on uh, like along there, and we're going to go to White Domes. I'm not sure how far we're going to get exactly and then we're going to look at the this overlook and we I think we'll stop here too at Rainbow Vista we'll just see how how we're going for time this is the road it's pretty pretty rocky this is Mouse's tank it's a 0.75 mile total out and back walk which we don't really have time for. Plus, it's also extremely hot today, so we don't really want to do any to, anything too strenuous. We're at Rainbow Vista. It's a one-mile walk. Um, this is approximately 40 minutes. I don't think we'll do the whole thing, though. We'll just walk out a little bit on it and see what we can see. This is as far in as we'll go. It was about a 30-meter walk. We're here now at Fire Canyon Overlook slash Silica Dome. Okay, this is Fire Canyon Overlook. The stones in the valley are mostly from made from silica and this is the largest example here in the valley. And if you notice that the stone rocks are changing from white to red over here, it's because of iron in the rocks, in the sand. At our final destination, White Domes Loop Car Park. We're not doing the actual walk though, because again, that's a bit too far today. But also, yeah, they don't recommend it because it's 33 degrees today and they, it says uh, not to do it if it's going to be over 29. These must be the White Domes. These White Domes, obviously. Yeah. Hiking is not recommended in the heat. Look at this, if you were to do the hike, it's about 2Ks, it takes about an hour. You start here, and look, there's an old movie set. White Domes is named after the impressive white peaks at the beginning of the trail on the way to the park's longest slot canyon. Even if we were going to do this walk, it's quite tough because you have to walk in the sand. We're just walking in between the two domes, just going up. A little bit just to see what's at the end here. Yeah. I think we're gonna stop here. That's the view. There's this guy with a, like a camera above him. Maybe he's doing stuff for Google Maps. Interesting. Oh no, we lost it. This 
this is our final stop seven sisters here we are the seven sisters guessing it's that rock formation there's no signs or anything here so just going blind reserved wedding area oh my god this is where we would have got married let's go where our would have been wedding site would have been yeah I'm pretty sure I've seen photos of people sitting like on these rocks here oh yeah 100% I've seen people uh, uh, photos of people on these rocks and this is around and I reckon people would have their ceremony over there or I guess you could have it here or out here anywhere really it's funny because yeah it looks so familiar because <laughs> I've seen so many photos okay never mind there was information here you can pause to read this if you want we are all done with our short trip to the valley of fire we're just driving out now we're heading back to Las Vegas we're gonna get some lunch but we're a bit snacky and we picked up these chips because we have to fly in through Vancouver so we got some Canadian chips we just never had a chance to try them so here we are we're gonna try them now these are old Dutch all dressed they didn't have my favorite flavor he said they didn't have his favorite flavor which is the dill pickle for shame Vancouver okay taste test time He did it. Drove into the city, parked. Oh, actually, I just noticed he's so far over to the right. That's okay. <laughs> it's not my fault. You just naturally move. It's okay. You did good. Yeah, I'm in the line at least. Yes, you're in it. I'm in it. Okay, I felt too awkward to vlog in there, but we just had lunch at this place called Taco Terrian, which is this uh, vegan Mexican place. We actually went there on our first night and we liked it so much, so we went back. Yeah, it's really good. I got the salad and TK's got this taco platter with rice and beans. And three tacos. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. We'd recommend. Do you have anything else to add? I'm vlogging right now. Yes. We're going to go drive back to our hotel. I don't want to drive back to the hotel. Wish us luck! <laughs> did it. Yay, we parked. 